Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Ahmed Chizbeli, and I am uh, an environmental scientist. Uh, I, I used to do uh, a lot of data analysis and data collection in the field, uh, in the oceans, for uh, ocean color uh, analysis with satellite images. And during that time, I worked a lot with data uh, day in, day out, and I did a lot of data management and uh, writing manuscripts and uh, sa saving everything for another reiteration uh, and everything. So I have come to the conclusion that from my own, uh, from my own experience, there is a big need f uh, for uh, reproducibility because uh, to my opinion, science, the reason why we publish science, because we want others to take on of our work and then put on top of it. Regardless of we want to make a, a profit or not, this is the sine qua non of scientific world. But right now, it's based on articles and articles are very technically uh, difficult to reproduce. I'm talking about mostly computational science because uh, lab work, etc., are a whole other deal. But when you talk about even in lab work, you end up collecting data and you end up finding yourself in front of the computer trying to make sense of this analysis. And that means data driven. Everything is data driven. We are located in uh, Turkey, south of Turkey, and uh, we are uh, developing uh, reproducible research tools. Uh, I have to fast forward because initially I have been given 15 minutes, but uh, at the end uh, I ended up by five minutes, so uh, I need to uh, quickly uh, say that the, for, the, for the scientific method to be implemented with data analysis, we need to have, go through a lot of steps. And those steps include the ability to do practical things like getting data and then making research, uh, reading papers, uh, getting their data, understanding them, coding them, uh, finding other people's codes, integrating them, and all kinds of uh, uh, stuff that I'm not going to uh, do. The ones who are publishing know all these details. and. Uh, modeling, hypothesis testing, publishing, until publishing and interacting with, uh, with the community. There are lots of steps and in those steps there is always uh, room for uh, reproducibility problems. So what we, our contribution is that uh, a cloud-based, multi-tenant, secure scientific code execution environment as a reproducibility helper. This is what we are trying to provide the user with. And um, yeah, uh, I, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but what I'm going to tell you is that the uh, blockchain community, since the two, these two uh, uh, conferences I visited, uh, you have a uh, difficulty in getting in touch with actual researchers. There are a lot of beautiful projects but how do we make sure that researchers, at, uh, uh, researchers use these technologies? Uh, we are closer to the researchers because the uh, uh, scientific document authoring system, but in an executable format, um, cl in cloud-based, is very close to the researcher and we want the researcher to use that. So through the integrations, uh, we would like to first uh, enable our system to offer our users the abilities of the blockchain. We are not blockchain people, but also offer to blockchain technology providers to get closer to the researchers and then uh, through usage, if there is any merit, they will understand and they will, uh, they will use it. So um, that's what we did also with, um, this is our interface, I'm going to demonstrate uh, very quickly in a second. With artifacts, uh, last year we met here, and uh, thanks to this conference, we were able to develop together a collab collaboration and integration. And uh, I'm going to switch to, to it, and then quickly demonstrate our... 
This is our main entrance page, which is a, like a social media uh, uh, like uh, thing that all public projects, everybody knows who is doing what, and then they can just uh, immediately go to somebody else's projects, fork it, and then uh, use it. Uh, of course, if data is included in it, not included, all those permissions are uh, uh, honored so if but if your data is open and you're doing open science then you can you can just run the code of somebody else and this is a very big um, advantage uh, I myself have been struggling a lot with just running legacy code working with package management and everything so our aim is to do everything one click one click like get the data code and the article itself or research paper and another click run the whole thing and make sure we are going to make sure that it is going to run without problems so um, let's say that I have a, a use case here it's a data science project but we want it to become a scientific uh, publication uh, platform is that I am uh, here looking at some uh, spectra multi spectroscopy data on coffee samples this is a, a basic project that has been done uh, by um, by myself with collaboration with Peter the Pinder, and then I have a uh, like the article view of this one, and I would like to be able to publish this in our network. Uh, this is what you can do with our uh, platform, and here you can uh, run codes of uh, R and Python, and then uh, upload your files uh, in a in our secure environment. Uh, you can upload your files and have uh, everything ready, like article publishing, data, code, and all the academical logic in one place. And we would like to also empower this with blockchain uh, technology. This is why we interacted with artifacts and using Bloxberg's um, uh, proof of existence. This is like very, very initial state. Like uh, we are creating a uh, proof of existence uh, uh, at, uh, uh, for this document and then I'm going to make a and then the proof of existence is kind of being prepared I have to reload the page and here I can see that uh, now the status is still uh, waiting we are waiting it to be processed and then um, now it's ready so we can get a file hash hash of the file or we can just go to the link of the Bloxburg's uh, page to see that we are going to advertise that at this point in time we have this project to ourselves so the next steps I would like to mention about the next steps also is that uh, attribution also through a citation system for our services and then um, we'd like to make a new document type and we'd like to state that that document is executable it's not just PDF that you will pull your hair to repeat it or reproduce it but it's an executable thing we would like to introduce new, new this new concept and then we would like to be able to Attri get attribution for tables, figures, models, results, and all different things separately. So uh, why we are here? Because uh, if you are a blockchain uh, technology developer, we'd like to integrate, and we think that we have the potential to get you a step further closer to the actual researchers. And we are particularly aiming young people because they are the ones who are really uh, thirsty for new technologies. Okay, thank you very much.